Are good. we having a talk show or a serious conversation? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the quote. <laughs> Thank you. It's a formidable <laughs> serious <laughs> talk. <laughs> Да, это серьезный разговор. Но поскольку у вас базовое образование... Because your basic education is in history as far as I understand. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Check out a clip of the interview from Tucker to Vladimir Putin. The USA, the NATO military industrial complex is relentless in putting on the pressure on Russia since the collapse of the Soviet Union, the USSR. Here we go. Then, look, why, in my opinion, after the collapse of the Soviet Union, such an erroneous, crude, completely unjustified policy of pressure was pursued against Russia? After all, this is a policy of pressure. NATO expansion, support for the separatists in Caucasus, creation of a missile defense system. These are all elements of pressure. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Then, dragging Ukraine into NATO is all about pressure, pressure, pressure. Why? I think, among other things, because excessive production capacities were created. During the confrontation with the Soviet Union, there were many centers created and specialists on the Soviet Union, who could not do anything else. They convince the political leadership that it is necessary to continue chiseling Russia, to try to break it up, to create on this territory several quasi-state entities and to subdue them in a divided form, to use their combined potential for the future struggle with China. This is a mistake, including the excessive potential of those who worked for the confrontation with the Soviet Union. It is necessary to get rid of this. There should be new, fresh forces, people who look into the future and understand what is happening in the world. Look at how...